G'day guys, how's it going? It's Mark here from Central Queensland 4x4 Explorers and uh, I'm doing something different today and going to be doing a couple other videos on my top 10 interesting things. Well the first one I'm doing today will be top 10 interesting historical buildings in the CBD, not in Key Street but in the CBD. But uh, alright, well come with me and we'll have a look and I'll uh, explain a bit more about this top 10 thing. Okay, I'm here with uh, Nala and Amanda, my wife, and we're going to do a bit of a walk and explore down some of this, down Bolsover Street and around the CBD a little bit. And like I said, this is some of the buildings I'll be showing that's outside the Key Street area, which you all know that there's a, it's one of the most um, historical precincts uh, buildings, uh, streets it is, in in um, in Australia I think it is the most it's got, yeah there's a fair few but uh, like I said we're here walking past the Rockhampton City Hall, um, it's a nice building, it's a historical building too but uh, yeah it's more of a brick kind of structure to me really but uh, that's it there. But um, I'll show you, we're going to go and show you like from the top 10 down to the to the one, my favourite. These are my favourites anyway, what I reckon, you know. So yeah, let's have a look at some. Alright, so here we are at the Rockhampton City Hall. And uh, we'll have a quick walk up to the front. We're doing it on uh, New Year's Day today. This is my first video for nine. Oh, sorry, 19, for 2024, and uh, yeah, a lot of history here in this building. We'll walk up a bit and I'll show you the front. Nice uh, bit of art deco, very nice looking doors, a little wood grain uh, timber, and um, there is a fair bit of information about the buildings here. I'll show you a bit. Did you know on the 15th of March 1954 Rockhampton City Council Hall played host to Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh on their Australian tour. Who remembers seeing them back then out the front of the Rockhampton City Council Hall? Our next unique and interesting building is Scotia Place. Scotia Place is a heritage listed former market and now a community centre. Now famous for its bingo that's held on Friday and Saturday nights. The architects that designed this was Eaton and Bates. In its early years this was the city markets. During the First World War the army opened a recruiting office. Also during the 1918 floods it also provided refuge to 200 people forced from their homes. On to our next building, the Rockhampton School of Arts. This building is a fine example of a late 19th century Victorian classic architecture. It has formed a major part of the cultural, social and civic life of Rockhampton since 1894. You can find this building on the Rockhampton City Hall Reserve, right near the library. The two-storey building features a hall with seating for 800 people. The School of Arts building was officially opened in the presence of the Governor of Queensland, Henry Norman, in March 1894. On to our next building. Here we have Rockhampton Technical College, Block A. This building had been the Rockhampton State High School and Technical College, also TAFE was here. This building was very important to the history and education of Rockhampton and now is a hotel. But it's a nice building too. I don't think it's heritage listed. Um, as like I said, I think it's a little bit more modern, this one. But this has got the old Supreme Court. Chambers. Ah, alrighty, alright, I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, let us know down below. 
There you go. I'll quick have a bit of a scan around. The third prison, uh, third third gallows that was here um, was originally this area here. Um, I've done a bit of research on it too, but it used to be there. But, uh, yeah, now the new police station's there. All right, we'll walk out and have a look at this building now. So this building it was the former district court building and also the Commonwealth Bank from 1915 to 1916. All filming on my little DJI today. And uh, we're right in the center of Rockhampton CBD. All right, so it's a, a former post office, this one. Um, and yeah, this is the original have the clock tower up top and everything. I'll see if I can get it and show you. But uh, this is what it is now anyway. I don't think anybody's using it at the moment, um, which is very sad, but there could be people here. There you go. We'll have a quick walk through the front here and then around the side, and then we'll see if there's any information about it. It's taken up by a few uh, local businesses now, uh, utilising the uh, the space in between it. In it, uh, so yeah, it's good to see it's getting used. If you can see it up there, it says Rockhampton Post Office. It's the original wording. It's uh, made in metal and it's been into uh, put into the sandstone. Thought I'd just quickly have a, have a look around here. You've got the Oxford Hotel over there is one of them. It's been here for a while. Uh, but yeah, you've got yeah, the Stuart's building here too. There's another one. It's uh, been here for a while, me. while too. But this is the building I... It's one of my top ten. Just recently it uh, started falling down, crumbling a bit. The old sandstone so they had to actually repair it as you can see up there but i'll go around the front a little bit and then i'll cross the road and you can have a look down a bit more oh the clock tower see her up there sure. post and telegraph office from 1866 to 1890 and then the general post office was from 1892 to 1997 all construction constructed from the Stanwell um, freestone and uh, yeah very nice isn't it and this one's heritage listed oh, here we are here's a few more that uh, are in my top 10 as you can see see behind me uh, Walter Reed Center this one here and we'll go across and this was another part of the that uh, centre too. It was this building here, which is now a gym. It's been a gym for a very long time, but it's also uh, a very historical building. There is a plaque there. We'll see if I can find it. I'll see it if I can see it for you. So this building is uh, part of the Denham Brothers manufacturing groceries and merchants uh, shops head offices from 1919 to 1984 established in 19 sorry established in 1896 it's good these little uh, little plaques courtesy of uh, city printing works they are they've been made up for our heritage listed buildings and historical buildings that are uh even on you know that aren't here anymore so here we are there it is that's the walter reed uh company walter reed reed center it is now um it hosts a lot of um co other com companies now in it or, or uh people are living in it same as the building there too but that's key street down there all along there so we'll keep that one separate and uh i'll make another video on key street but uh, we'll walk across here and show you the, the building up close.
And even this one, like I said, they've got the original plaque still here. And uh, it says, you know, when it was officially opened, the Walter Reed Centre, which is now what it's called. And that's the information about it. You see all these little little murals that got all the way along the footpath here. But uh, it is closed today. You can actually go in there. Like I said, it's, it's run by a few different... It's a venue, actually. You can actually hire it for... Uh, if you need to, but um, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's a Christmas closure at the moment. Anyway, we'll walk around here and I'll show you the other side of the building. And like I said, there's a little plaque done up by the city printing works, and there's some information about it. There you go, Edward George Ed. This site, Edward Foreman Grocer in 1885 to 1890 which was before this building and walter reed and co warehouse in 1902 to 1975 and then like i said the walter reed culture center was 1977 onwards but uh yeah no it's good thank you for that for these little information plaques there's more up here actually i'll take you up and we'll, i'll show you some more that they've put put in in place of places See if you can read that, yeah. Look, one of the it's been original uh, imprint of um, one of the signs, Walter Reed and Co. LTD offices. As we walk along this uh, E Street, the top end of E Street, uh, E Street Mall's just down there, or where it used to be, but you've got all these old buildings too, all along here. Hendrix Lane now is a bit of a like a an in country a pub um, not a pub but more of a drinking place and food and wine and everything that uh, you got there. But this is a great building. I've been inside this building before heaps of times, and it's really nice upstairs. This one here has got two bank vaults in it. And it was originally the AMP uh, bank, but in 1888 she was made. Yeah, very nice. I'll take you up a little bit closer. There's even a sign there for it. Can't even get a bit busy now. Looks like everybody's um, getting out and about. As I said, it is New Year's Day, but uh, yeah, AMP Insurance. There we are, from 1888 to 1970, and then. Brahman House after that, 1971 onwards. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you the uh, entryway, the floor. All checkered tiles it is. Even the, the doors. Uh, see by the handle and see where the letters are, like the letter thing just there. Look how many! Look how wide it is from people from from whoever used to um, back in the day would have polished it and would have come up nice and brass or, or very polished. Yeah, but this is this is the entrance anyway. Inside is nice. It's really um, it's got that old uh, old style banking desks or, or whatever it is inside. It's got a a fireplace up stairs it's got a bank vault upstairs it's got one downstairs um you find a lot of information about it on wikipedia but uh yeah very nice i'm hoping one day i can ask him if i can do a, a walk through this one without showing any uh giving away any you know the private part of the the, the business you know because it's very nice it's got a nice stairway up top and it's got a nice um stained glass window at the back this building cross here interests me too where millennium is now it says established 1864 up there so i'd like to know what what was here in this building if it was here since 1864 or or, or it was a business from 1864. so you got that one there here yeah, brahman house it's up there and uh, it's a very nice building. 
Also, you've got the building right near it, the two here. This looks like a bit more of a, a later one. Looks like back in the thir late 30s or 40s or something. It's got that kind of feel to it. But then you've got another big one here that's near it. I just noticed there, yeah, Hendrix, this one here, Hendrix, 1860. So is it an old building? It's been refurbished, it looks like, uh, along with, what I'm, what's the name up, name up there? It's John M. Hendrix and Company, General Frat. Is that so? Merchants. Oh, okay, righty then. Nice. Well, there's a bit of history I didn't even know. I'll have to do research on that one. And I just thought, as we're still walking down this little part of the uh, East Street, yeah, you got Rockhampton City Printing Works across there, established in 1903. But if you look across the road where the new post office is, they've gone and put all these little... Uh, Little plaques. Look at this one here. There you go. Oh, was it COD Wholesales and Rental Retail Fruit Merchant from 1930 to 1978, demolished on 1986. So that was a place, it was a building here back then. There is another one. Uh, here, here's another one you can find that the uh, Tom, must be Thomas McGrath, I can't remember, I can't say that. Bury Office and Bond Store, 1900 to 1960. Brisbane Cash and Carry Grocery, um, must be 1960. Demolished for Car Park, 1986. There you go, a little bit of history. Okay, we'll walk back to the car now, but... Uh, most of the buildings do have, like I said, dates on them when they were um, established or when they were built here. Uh, that one, I don't know, must have had something up top, but it's not there no more. As you can see, Brahma House does, same as the Hendrix does too, and so on. So, But anyway, we'll go on to the next ones, uh, and um, yeah, we'll show you them. And here's another one. Uh, this is the railway uh, offices, or used to be. Now it's, the, uh, it's a hotel, beautiful hotel. It's supposed to be upstairs, but uh, I'll quickly show you a little bit of it while we're going. Beautiful architecture on this one. With the railings and everything on it. This one was established in 1885. Now, this one is located straight across from the Great Western, which is another heritage hotel in Great Western. And then you've got the railway over across there. You see the old railway station used to be here too in this area. But, uh, yeah, very, very interesting building, this one, uh, architecture and stuff. There was a fair few, I've seen a fair few photos of this area here. There used to be a hotel right on the corner here. Uh, not anymore, but you'll see a trains coming along this here. Come out there and, and, and pass this little little shop. Okay, just sort of a bit of a walk past again. How beautiful is it? It's a nice building now, isn't it? Nicely uh, restored. And it's good to see they use it as a, a boutique hotel, Denison Boutique Hotel now. Yeah, be a beautiful old building it is. Like I said, it's part of, it used to be a part of the railway. Uh, back in the day, it was offices, railway offices. This would have been where the paymaster and everything went. So here we are, Archer Park Railway Museum. Uh, this is the old Archer Park Railway Station, 1899. And this is my favourite building of all time in the CBD area. Not in, not all in through. Queensland or Central Queensland or whatever, or, or in Rockhampton. This is in the CBD area, which is a business area mostly, but this is my all-time favourite building and number one. Now, yep, the old Arch Park Railway Museum. See if I can show you a little bit up top through the through here and have a look. There is uh, two trains, I think, three trains in there, 
there's a steam train, there's an old diesel loco, uh, you've got a little tram there, a uh, little shunting tram, and you've got this, the uh, steam uh, tram that used to run in Rockhampton along with the other ones. As you can see, there's a uh, diesel loco just there, and then you can see the what's under there is a steam train, number 988. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do a bit of a walk around on that when I come here one day. Just walking around. There's the old Perry steam tram just there that used to run down the, run around Rockhampton on the tram tracks that we used to have back in the day. And that's the last one of them. Uh, and, and the only one in the world, I think it is. So this is it. This is my number one uh, building, historical building, and it's the uh, railway museum, or the originally the railway station, Archer Park Railway Station, and it's built in 1899. But the architecture of this place is so it's beautiful. Look at all that lattice work and everything there. I know the other ones, there's a couple other ones that had lattice work, but. Uh, I'm a bit of a rail buff too, so this is a, a nice, a very nice building and the way it's uh, been preserved and as you can see these steps and uh, everything's been nicely done up. It is uh, a museum now with uh, a fair few uh, old trains. It's got a steam train as I'll show you later on and uh, the steam tram and uh yeah no and a lot of other little bits and pieces they have but yeah this is my number one this is one i like so much uh i know people will be all different and different uh, preferences but this is mine anyway that is it for now uh like i said this is my favorite 10 uh historical buildings you can class it as uh Leave down below if you like them and, and what you think um, and what would you like to see next. Uh, I've got a couple more planned. I'm going to do Mount Morgan, um, Yapoon, um, anywhere around the place, you know. I'm going to do a top five or top ten. So, uh, yeah, comment down below and uh, let us know and I'll see you later. Bye for now.